Hey guys, somebody asked me how I mounted the Epson 6050, so I figured I'd show you. And I don't usually get to show you my seating arrangement, but uh, I've got four front row Seacraft Rialtos. They're technically the middle row. Um, I've started with just the three, but then I added a armless love or you know, armless chair, which made a love seat. You can see my <laughs> the entrance is kind of narrow. But I love having that extra front row of seat because that is the premium seating. This seat right here is now the MLP. It's right under the projector, pretty much dead center, middle of the room. But that's, you know, it it, it allows for, you know, two, three people to spread out. You I mean up to four, obviously, but um, it's just nice. And then in the back, these are technically the front row. Seacraft Rialtos, they're about six, seven inches shorter in height which matters considering how high they are on the riser. It's just overflow seating, like I've mentioned before, and for laying down, which I value. Um, it's nice to have that option, right? Somebody wants to come down here, but they're not in the mood for like, you know, to really be immersed. They just want to be in the room and they can lay down. Okay, so for the projector, and, and pay no mind to uh, any of this. I didn't really discuss this yet, but that's that's a different project. Just finished that. Here's the projector. Pretty simple, guys. I used to have this, um, the old 2150, on an arm mount that's mounted into the concrete wall. That was great for a, such a lightweight projector. I think the 2150 is like seven pounds. The 6050 is like triple the weight and then some. It's it's a thick boy. So, and yes, the velvet's ugly. I get that. Highly effective. It's pretty gross with the lights on. You can see all of the imperfections, the tugging, the stretching. The ripples, you know, put in a, when you put a screw through the velvet, even if you make a pilot hole, it inevitably snares it, and then it twists it, and you're left with ugly velvet. But I don't care when the lights are off, it's, you know, pitch black. So I'm going to use a flashlight to show you this, but essentially, we've got... The 6050 is on a three-quarter sheet of maple ply, it's just what I had laying around. I made it, uh, maybe 10% larger, all dimensions. Uh, so it would comfortably sit up there. The green dot is a IR repeater going to the receiver. For, so because for some reason when I aim the, the remote at the screen, turn the flashlight off, the signal bounces off the screen, no problem, to the projector with the projector remote, but the receiver does not work without that IR repeater. So with the repeater, no problem, can just point at the screen for the receiver and the projector and control everything. So anyway, that's what that is. The white little thing is the uh, my Ecobee uh, room sensor. It, it, it uh, senses room activity and temperature, which, yeah, I love that smart furnace thermostat stuff. Anyway, here's the projector. Like I said, three-quarter ply with heavy-duty Everbuilt brackets from Home Depot. They're black. They're uh, 12 by 18 inch, I believe, with the 18 going the depth of the wood. I wrap the wood in velvet and those brackets are into the 2x4 framing with deck screws. And the, uh, the 2x4 framing is into the not only the back wall but the concrete floor. So that projector's not going anywhere. Um, I was thinking of building like a guard railing around the plywood, you know, in, just in case it moved uh, with the base vibrations, but I've pounded on this system and nothing doesn't move. You can't feel anything in the wood. Um, you know, if I tug on the shelf, it doesn't do anything except mess up my velvet. But uh, yeah, very simple. I wish I thought of that before, honestly. And, and the biggest pro from doing this, besides giving a home to this projector, the lens on the 6050 is now at least a foot closer, if not more, maybe a foot and change closer to the screen, which reduces the throw distance from what it was before at about 19 feet and change to just about 18 feet. I know that does not sound like a lot, but uh, with the Epson 2150, I was running that in dynamic, so torch mode, with positive gamma uh, at around 50, 50 brightness. And it looked great, but with the 6050, I can run it in bright cinema with no gamma correction, so zero gamma, at about 45 brightness. So it is much brighter, and I think that is just naturally because the lumen output is a little bit more with this projector and the fact that it's closer to the screen. 
but you know, same screen material, same room, so that's that's a noticeable upgrade. But that's how the Epson's uh, mounted back there. This is my seating. Got the caps hidden. I know the left, the rear left and right, you're like, why is there wood exposed? I need to wrap that in velvet and it'll disappear. Then the speakers will look like they're floating. But yeah, that's it guys. Later.